Today we will speak about cross-cultural communication. We will try to navigate you how to communicate with the staff, students and external stakeholders about building quality culture. Firstly, we would like to emphasize five, five key competencies for the leader. Five key competencies for the leader. Firstly, comprehend the communication needs and different styles with different actors within and outside the institution. Be able to communicate appropriately in different contexts and with the different actors. Third, be able to explain the importance of quality assurance and quality culture to different actors. Have respect for diversity, support openness and transparency. And last but not least, take responsibility for the general internal and external communication of the institution. The message is that communication is a cornerstone to quality assurance. Why quality cultures from different perspectives? Uh, we will look on this issue now, on this question. We would like to underline that explanation and positive approach is better than a whip. So the question is, which factors motivate different stakeholders to developing and supporting your quality culture ecosystem? You can see each type of stakeholder as a player in the band. Each can support your song, quality culture, in a different way and from the different motives. And you are, as a leader, like a manager in the band. So let's start with employers, your drummers. Uh, employers emphasize the counter function of the quality assurance. They see information functions to other players also important. Quality assurance should give information about the graduates. Who is the graduate? and how ready they are. This is the most interesting piece of information for employers. Employers link quality assurance with labor market needs, both at the program level and across programs. They wish to see that quality assurance considers what are actual needs and expectation to graduate in a specific field. Let's move to students. They are like melody guitarists. Uh, students define the purpose of quality assurance, particularly through the quality of learning experience and final qualification. Students especially want to make sure that higher education institutions keep up with time and that their education stays labor market relevant in a quickly changing environment. Students also mention trust and credibility as the most important aim of quality assurance. So it's important to explain students how you use the results of quality assurance surveys and what will be the next steps. Let's move to teacher. Teacher is a as bass guitarist. Teacher staff values greatly quality assurance for internal development. And so you can use the quality culture for their professional development. We, can, we would like to also uh, point out the, or we can find inspiration in the project performance which is focused on quality development of a teacher's profession in higher education. And as you will see in the Model 7, rewarding the good practice helps to sustain the motivation of the actors, respectively the teachers. And let's move to graduates. Graduate is your important voice and face. Ask them for sharing their point of view. Build from them your advisory board. Find what they need and how your institution can still support them in their professional and personal lives. So finally, we can see most important is dialogue. Let them speak together because as band, only function if they speak as a one. They need very good dialogue. Explain different needs and try to find jointing points. Support openness and trust. Underline importance of different actors for you. And let them be active part of open dialogue. Also find key supporters from each stakeholder's groups, which can help you communicate your visions. Thank you very much for attention.